Okay, today I'm going to explain you how to uninterrogate your side from your Isaac account. So, first thing you have to do is look into your Isaac account and click at this, as you can see. And I want to remove this side from my Isaac account. Click on your side and you can see. You try to remove the side. It's not going to let you because I have currently integrated my site with my uh, Namecheap account. So what you have to do is first you have to unintegrate your site um, by removing your name service. Log into your account. Then go to you have to go to the domain list. Um, yeah, here you have to find uh, where you update your name service. Uh, click on the list, and you can see all your domains here. Uh, find the site you want to remove, you want to update your name service. And uh, you see, uh, currently, I have uh, updated my name to a bit what Isaac has given me. Then what you have to do next is log into your hosting provider. Okay, in my case, it is Hostinger. And here, just log in and you have to find out um, the name service you have previously updated. And So again, select the current domain. Okay. And so look into that particular domain, you can see that in quality and in settings. So try to verify domain and uh, now don't do that and uh, it is a uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, what you have to do is uh, update the name server. So you have to find out the places where you update uh, need to update the name service. So um, let me check. Let's go to there. Uh, now this is related to the WordPress settings. Let's go to home and uh, try to find out where I updated the name service. Mm, I think it should be domain verification sections. Oh no, on the same page. Go to DNS record section, go to setting DNS management, name service management controls. No. Um, Yeah, what you have to do is you just have to find out the uh, name service and just copy and paste it to the name chips or whatever the you whatever you, the place you have purchased your domain and i in my case i have purchased my domain name cheap paste name cheap okay mm, let's click on it mm, it gives me some instructions to how to update the TNS servers actually it's not related to what I really want to do I just want to find out where are the name servers okay I think I have to go back let's go to home and let's see no there's nothing this good domains new domain no Mm. Let's click on domain and transfer an X item. Let's click on manage. Uh, oh, this is the place I want to go. Just connect to me. Just, uh, wait, this it takes time to load. 
okay let's just do it and here are the name servers and you just have to do the copy and paste all these two name servers to your domain list and update it okay then what you have to do is you just update it remove the name service but it's like has provided you and just go to the your research account and now you should be able to uh, remove your site because you just unintegrated it um okay let's see let's try to only unintegrate your site from this way okay. click on your site and click remove site here you still say you must unintegrate it it's still hasn't detected that uh, I have unintegrated it. Uh, let's go home. Need to find out why is that happening. Maybe I have to remove that text file, or maybe otherwise press plugins also. Hmm. The reason for this is just because you unintegrated is so weak. It it can't detect um, at that moment so you, you need to give it some time so at least for 24 hours to did, did, did that and integration so you might you won't you have to wait some sometimes right let's say 24 hours so once it's a week figure out like okay they have anti integrated uh, the site from the so week then they will let you to remove your site from the so week so um i i found this detail from a blog and you can also check it out so i go to this blog it says first what you have to do is update the name service and then several plus plugin and the third step is now that you have done all the steps you have to wait at least 24 hours this is because it will take time to reflect your changes Reflect on the changes you did. So after this time, you should receive a mail from Isoic saying that your site is no longer integrated with Isoic. Also, go to the same email. At this stage, all you have to do is log into your dashboard and find settings, and you need to find the option to remove site. I have shown you before. What you do is to click on your site, and it will pop up the window like this. Yes. That's um, all for the videos and thanks for watching.